this is the second year that we've targeted clients of prostitution. Uh, so this campaign will be on uh, numeric bu bus uh, shelters, but also on social media. Montreal organization Concertation des Luttes contre l'exploitation sexuelle, or CLAY, launched a campaign that targets the clients of sex workers during the Canadian Grand Prix here this weekend. Community organizer for the group, Jenny Larsoli, says the main message is to remind everyone that this type of activity is illegal. The uh, act of purchasing sex is criminal in Canada. Uh, uh, but the women and girls who are tra trapped in the sex industry are not themselves criminals. So the idea is to make sure uh, that uh, the uh, those who profit from the prostitution of others, so we're talking about pimps and we're talking about clients, uh, that they are aware of the law. The campaign is also distributing posters and flyers that are aimed at both locals and sexual tourists during the Canadian Grand Prix, as well as for other major events and festivals in Montreal this summer. We uh, know that during the Grand Prix, uh, especially during the weekend of the Grand Prix, there are private parties, there are a lot of other uh, activities going on. Um, where uh, pimps will uh, try to uh, recruit uh, women and girls and, um, and where trafficking, human trafficking will go on. The Montreal police declined an interview, but said in a statement that SPVM police officers met with several hotel managers and employees of various companies that offer transportation services during the weeks leading up to the Grand Prix, all with the objective of prevention and awareness of sexual exploitation. The police told us that uh, they are taking this seriously. Uh, we uh, think that it's important that they make sure to, um, uh, you know, uh, to apply the law, basically. Uh, and um, there should be uh, arrests of pimps, of uh, clients of prostitution. Sully adds that it is not only the police who can help women and girls who are active in the sex industry. There's the, the need for those who are in contact with uh, women and girls that could be in danger to also, um, uh, you know, call the police if they see uh, something, uh, someone who is in danger. So it's important. In Montreal, Gareth Maddock-Jones, City News.